Again, didn't realize this when I said it. Without. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Forza Horizon 4. I think we figured out in Forza Horizon 4 the best way of leveling up. Also, uh, guys, please, please like and subscribe. I think we figured out the best way of leveling up in the game is to do races with a convoy of people, but instead of doing PvP, race as a team and do co-op, because then you just get insane, insane amount of money and XP, so that's what I want to do today. But before we get to that, I do want to go in and maybe knock out a few more of these missions. Like, we, we have the stunt driving stuff. We're right next to him as well. We haven't done a stunt driving mission since, like, what, episode two or three? So let's maybe do two stunt missions, then we'll go in, build a car, and then we'll do some online co-op together. And we'll be good. We'll get a bunch of money and XP, and then hopefully we can uh, buy some cool cars and houses. We need to start saving up, too. Like, I, I, I really want to buy the castles, but at the same point, it's 10 million and 15 million. I don't know if I want to invest that much. There are so many other things that I want to buy. I don't know yet. Okay, thank you. So we've only done two of these. We did the first one in the Chiron, and then we did the other one in the auto union. Now, I figured out sort of what these are. Oh, uh, uh, no, that's a Gallardo. Stunt is going to require skill, delicacy, and uh, inertia. Just oh. don't put too many scratches on it, yeah? I thought it was a Lamborghini Mira, but no. Gallardo it is. All right, five miles to our destination. Let's go. We got six minutes to get five miles. In a Lambo, we should not have a problem. Man, I got to buy this Gallardo too. Like, this is... This is probably the Lamborghini that would, that that first made me go, hmm, I like Lamborghinis. Then, then the LP670 came along, and then I was just like, oh boy. This is the place. This is a tricky one. A jump across a river, loads of rocks. Focus. Get the car to speed. I like this guy. When car jumps go wrong, they hurt. But we've stiffened the suspension, and there's a solid five point in there. Is there actually a five point harness in there, though? You liars! Not only is there not a five point harness, I'm not even wearing a seatbelt! I'm going, buddy! All right, where's the ramp? Where's the ramp? There is no ramp! That's just a jump! The world just ends! 503 feet, uh, chapter cut. three complete. You all right, kid? I am the movie stunt driving legend. So good at this, boys. 2,000. That's such a waste of time to do those events for money. I mean, you get some really good influence for it. All right, let's do one more of these because that, that was quite an easy one. And I, I'm telling you, I like these Lambos too much. What we need is a professional stunt driver, right? Head for the village. You can get a handle on the stunt vehicle on the way. All right. Wait, wait. So I guess they captured the, the, the Ford Focus RS RX in time because it's uh it's got forza horizon 3 logos on it that's pretty cool i love the focus rsrx but that is that is a little weird i like that though i like how they captured it in time because this thing was used for gymkhana and like was used for promotion for horizon 3 they forever said no this car will Back never change Broadway. all right mike what do i need to do you didn't actually tell me what i what the challenge is but you're gonna slam the throttle and skid and slide and smash this place to bits, aren't you? Wait, 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 wait. You want me to crash the car? Okay. Beat the skills target. I have, what? <laughs> I have 20, or they want me to get 20,000 points in this thing. Okay. I like how there's cameras everywhere. Like, look at that camera over there. Oh, I can't run into that apparently. We'll take out the post box. That's not a post box, I meant telephone pole. Let's go back this way. Do another cheeky jump. Nice. Into a little drift, into a 360. It's all on purpose, by the way. I haven't, I haven't lost control a single time. Uh, guys, 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 that's not a jump. Okay, we're good, we're good. I still didn't lose my points. I don't know where we're going. Oh, we're going back down the high street. Okay, like these are so much better than like the drift missions or, or the world's fastest rentals. All right, those barrels were floating, but we won't pay attention to that. That's time, basically. I assume that has to be three stars. The requirement was 20,000. I got a hundred and nice work. a lot of thousand. Okay. Thank you. Three stars. Thank you. Dab for victory. The gold leggings are looking good on my dude. Get the dabbing. We could do the R8. The R8 is dope as hell. I know a lot of people want to see the Audi R8. Like if I was to buy a supercar 
Audi R8 instantly. It's just so good. All right, now is when I really pray after spending 300 grand on a car that I hope this one works. There we go. All right, body kit. It is a Liberty Walk body kit for the Audi R8. Oh, that is wide. Oh, it is so wide. Oh my God. It even changes the rear bumper too. It makes it carbon fiber. Oh my God, it even changes the shape of the exhaust. It makes them more oval-like. Changes the diffuser as well. Gives it different side skirts. The f then rear wing. Now I know from past experience, this is when things get a little, a little crazy. So you can go big chassis mounted rear wing. That is, that's pretty cool. You can go with the Thule box on the rear wing. You can go with the Liberty Walk little rear lip, which looks pretty good. Or the wing that nobody is going to use. The fourth one. You all, y'all want the roof box? Okay, we're going roof box. Are we going balls to the wall in the R8? I guess we are. God damn it, this is gonna be expensive. I've been saying, oh yeah, guys, I wanna, I wanna buy the castle. I wanna buy the castle. I need to save up for the castle. And then you guys are all like, yeah, just buy this really expensive car. All right, so the R8 is done. We are rocking only 900 horsepower. I mean, we could toss in the, uh, the racing V12, but we're sticking with the V10 for this. We are twin turbos. Oh, that's actually a really nice red for the R8. Let's do that. Boys, we're gonna go bang out some more races because I like money in this game and I want my castles. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I love the variety. We've got a drift car all the way at the end. McLaren, an Iron Knight racing truck. My R8 with a roof box because apparently we're going on vacation or something. Well, it's team AR12 versus team Drivatar. This is how you get all the money in Forza Horizon 4. But I gotta put a money method video together. It's a good thing we're figuring this stuff out, boys. Really, am I starting last? Really? Really, I'm starting last? Come on. Why is there a Bentley? Oh my god, the goddamn Drivatars. Thank you, Tendi, for bullying him. Get him out of the way. Get him out of here. All right, come on, roof box car. Let's go. We got a pink pig and a formula drift car in here, too. Okay, uh, apparently we've got internet problems. Volksaudi says, do you expect me to talk? <laughs> uh, boys, we're actually losing to the Drivatars right now. I thought we would be winning. Oh my god, look at the Drivatars, like, weaving to try to get past. That's crazy. DJ, why are you drifting, bro? And how's Tendi? Dr Tendi's drifting too! <laughs> boy, Tendi, you're in last place! What are you doing? Tendi lagged out. Oh, Tendi. Aw. Uh, bye, Tendi. Wait, am I winning? No, Volk's Audi's winning. I'm in third place. No way. Yo, I don't know what's going on with my two huge antennas off the rear of this car. Do you guys see them? I don't know if they're, they'll appear on screen, but they look like we're trying to go fishing off the rear of our car. All right, race is finished. Boys, let's go. Let's see how much money we get from this normally. So normally, for doing a race like this, You'd get what, like 15 grand and maybe 4,000 influence. We're gonna take the dub for Team AR12 Nick. I like it. DJ's like, luckily. So look at this. Okay. Wait, what? 15 grand, that's it? Influence rewards? Okay. There you go. There's the good thing 8,000 influence from that. I don't know why we got so much money for, for the previous race we did last time then. All right. Let's go do another race. Let's, let's continue to test. Our science experiment. I like these, uh, I like these road races, boys. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna bang out these road races. Get it to level 10. When we get there, we will see how many laps we could actually do. Maybe we'll toss it on a, a couple more laps. See if we get some, some more money. Maybe that will be the thing. Let's just cut the cord. All right, we got places to go. Oh my God. All right, maybe that was a bad idea. Oh, rock. I don't know why I thought we could hit that and knock it down. Like, I could have turned to avoid it, but I was like, ah, I'm gonna hit it. Let's test this guy's thing. Can we do 50 laps? So let's do co-op again. Can we go above 50 laps in Forza Horizon 4? Let's see, scrolling, it doesn't seem like it. Nope. 50 is the max. Once you get to 50, it goes back down to 1. Team AR12, Nick versus Team Drivatar. Volksaudi's guy is dancing like a crazy mofo. Am I seriously starting lap? I'm not! Yes! Let's go, boys! All right, everyone, pass them all. Let's go. What's a blizzard look like in Horizon 4? Let's go, boys. We got places to be. Just bully the Drivatars out of the way. They don't know how to deal with this. I was born in the Great White North. 
I know how this works. The 918, you're squabbling all over the place. Lamborghini, you suck. Get out of the way. We're one, two, three right now. Hell yes. And we're using like a wide body Audi R8 with 900 horsepower. This works. Like, I mean, it slides out a lot. But I spoke about it actually in, in the Engine Failure podcast. Uh, which if you don't listen to, you should check it out. There's a link down below. In the podcast, I, I, I spoke about the road temperature being a thing. If you pause the game, uh, I don't want to pause the game right now, but if you pause the game, you'll see that there's a temperature. The temperature is actually super important in Horizon 4 because it sort of indicates how much grip you'll have. The lower the temperature, the less grip is on the road. So the, the slower you'll have to take corners and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. You can actually rewind online races. So we're driving right now. I'm in third place doing completely fine but then let's just say for example oh no i came into the corner too fast and i drove way too quick rewind screen goes black and you just go back in the race it's sort of like a wait is it a reset button when you're racing like in a race like this uh sorta i don't know how that worked i got pushed back to six okay all right we're on the last lap boys yo look at the shadows of all the sticks as we go past them Look at the shadows, that's so cool. Oh man, oh man, we're not actually gonna finish. Oh my God, I'm gonna lap people. Oh, we're gonna finish. Yeah, no, we couldn't finish the race. One more second and we would have finished. So will we get less money for that because we didn't finish the race? Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. For a DNF, I get 11,000 credits. So I get, I get, I get 15,000 credits. For, for what? I came like second or third in the previous race, but I get 11,000 when I get a DNF. You know what? Let's do one more race. See if we can, see if we can unlock stuff. Boys, do you remember that video I made when I said, oh, my, there might be a Melbourne uh, sort of inspired track in the game. That's it. It's actually a race course. Okay, boys, we're going over there. Try five laps. Okay, we're going to try five laps. See if we get some more money. Cut in the corner here in an area where there is a barn. You get a barn find? A barn I think the barn's over there. I think it's right there. Oh, we spun. We're spun. Off-roading in R8 is hard. Are we racing right next to the castle? Holy shit, look at this! Again, didn't realize this when I said it. But that... Okay! <laughs> Welcome to Forza Horizon 4! <laughs> this is a five-lap race. I'm starting near the front. Oh, that McLaren looks good. Let's go. <laughs> wow, such car, boys. Let's go. Melbourne GP in reverse, sort of. Let's go. The chat things are so awesome. Oh, my God, a Regera. Hey, buddy. I'm trying to catch up along the big pit straight. Look, there's even pits. There's even a little area to pit. Boys, we'll drive in the pits next lap. <laughs> I know it's not the Melbourne Grand Prix, but it's cool, okay? If you know F1... At God damn it. Yeah, I'm just saying, Tendi's got to improve a little bit. Oh my God, look at the grip in the R8. It just goes and goes and goes. Get on the brakes hard. Oh, oh wait, where is it? That's not the pits. That's a wall. There it is. It's on our left. You see? Sort of, kind of. It's cool. I can imagine, okay? Let me get... Oh my God, DJ. Let me get my F1 fantasies out, okay? Okay, this Ferrari's actually giving me a run for my money. There we go, finally passed. Maybe, actually, maybe that's a good point. Could it be you get more money based on how many points your team gets? Like, cause right now, we're pretty similar in terms of point. Yo, what up, Tendi? Hey, buddy, how are you? Coming through real hot. Oh, that corner, that corner gets you. All right, final lap in the R8, come on. All right, he's already done. Volk's out, he's already done. I'm gonna be coming fourth in this race. Okay. So if I'm gonna be coming fourth, go in the pits. These are my pits. And then, uh, pit exit. Sorta. Of. It's a ghetto pit. Don't worry about it. So I came fourth place. Let's see the money situation there. So our team is gonna win again. So we should, in theory, that was a longer race as well. We should, in theory, be getting probably like 10,000 credits times two. What are we getting? 12,000, 12,000, and 6,000. 31 grand for that one race. That's not bad. Look at that XP, too. That is a 13,000 XP race. 
Not bad. We're level 71. Kenny says, do team adventures. It gives you a shit ton of money. That is good to know. I didn't know that. I, got, I haven't done one yet. You know how I want to end this, boys? Do I? Go buy the fast travel house. It's so pricey. It's two million bucks. This, has, ha, this house is half a million. And I like the area next to the... Oh my god. Hello! Hey, guys. All right. I'm gonna go buy that house. You get 10 super wheel spins tunic. All right. Um, oh my god. Everyone's saying buy the $2 million house. It's so expensive. I'm about to go and do something really dumb. Rip all my money. It was so hard earned. Hey, maybe the wheel spins will make up for it. I don't know. I'm just hoping, please. Ignis is like, are we there yet? No, we're driving the whole way, Ignis. Yo, this is sick. We've got people everywhere. Uh, we are sort of driving down the wrong side of the highway. Hey, DJ, DJ was on the right side. He's like, no, I'll come with you guys. Hey, boys. Hey, guys. All right, we'll come back on this side. <laughs> no one chooses what side they want to go on. It's just everyone flip-flopping. Yo, how do you guys like DJ Subaru, by the way? Oh my god, McLaren. I promise, although it doesn't look like a Subaru, it, it, it is. That is an STI. Fireprof Cargo's like, I've got a bad feeling about this. You're not the only one. I'm about to spend two million bucks on a house that gets me fast travel and supposedly ten wheel spins. There you go. I also get the silver top hat like it's worth it. Oh, two million credits. It was so hard earned. I'll get you moved in. Oh. But if you hear spooky noises at night, don't call me. Yeah, I know there's going to be spooky, spooky noises. There's a haunted mansion. Boys, we bought a haunted mansion. You purchased the house. I would like to set it as my house. Oh, what a waste of money. What a waste of money. Okay, well, we're done that. We had, we had 2.1 million. Let's see if the super wheel spins are worth it. I'll take the Cadillac and the Celine. 160k? Nearly a galaxy skirt! Oh, come on, game. I would have wanted that. We're up to 300k. Look at all these Forza editions that they're getting me so close to, and they're just like, nah, never mind. Again, you're gonna tease me with a Forza edition car? Are you serious? I'll take the F12. It's not terrible, but eh. 170k. And a Sprite. 300k. Yes! Yes! Good Catrum R500 Forza Edition. Yes! And the Macarena. Macarena. Is that how it goes? And the Warthog Horn. That's how it goes, right? All right, last one. What a waste of time! Useless wheel spin! I'm not doing them anymore. I've decided. That's it. Done.